What's up everyone? Welcome to part four of our ThinkPad eGPU deep learning build. And in this one, I just want to give a quick update and talk about where the system is right now. So I've updated the OS from 17.10 to 18.04 and the eGPU is performing a lot better or actually it's performing a lot smoother. So I can boot into the normal Ubuntu desktop. I can have a desktop background finally. All my keyboard shortcuts work and the computer hasn't been crashing at all so before I must have had like three or four crashes but none so far so everything's working a lot smoother with Ubuntu 18 so if you're gonna be doing this kind of build I highly recommend going with 18 so yeah you can see that we've got 18 installed right here bionic beaver and you can also see we've got our GTX 1050 Ti detected and working so now what I'm gonna do just show you the hello world or hello tensorflow code so um, last video we created that environment called um, tf so i'm just gonna activate it we'll start up python and our normal code well first thing we got to do is import tensorflow as tf you don't get any errors so we're going to create a constant called a low so it's going to be tf um, dot constant and it's just going to hold the string hello tensorflow now we're going to run it so with tf.session as sesh we're going to call sesh.run dot, sesh and we're going to be running hello so we get our expected output hello tensorflow so everything's working the way we expect it. I'm still on version um, 1.5, but when I do my full TensorFlow install tutorial, tutorial for Linux, I'll be installing on either 17 or, or sorry, 1.7 or 1.8, whichever one is the current one at the time. So stay tuned for that. It'll be a very comprehensive walkthrough install tutorial. So this will likely be the last video in the ThinkPad series, but before we go, I want to take a moment to look back on the series and talk about why I did this thing and also who this build might be for, who would actually, you know, get something out of this. So as you know, I went for a budget build. I was trying to build the cheapest deep learning machine that I could, and we were able to stay under $400. I got the laptop pretty cheap. Honestly, these you don't really find these T420s on eBay that cheap. I was able to get it um, used from Craigslist. So if you can go with Craigslist, you can usually get slightly better deals compared to eBay. But um, you know, $50 laptop, $20 RAM upgrade, uh, cheap power supply. The graphics card prices are slightly better right now. The card I bought now, you can get it for around $200 instead of $240. And really, it should be costing like $140. But anyways, all of that still under $400, which is, in my opinion, that's pretty good. Like right now, if you go buy a new laptop for $400, you're not really getting that great a laptop. But we were able to go used and get something pretty decent. So let's talk about who this build might be for because I could have went with a desktop and probably saved some money, but I figure the person who might get value out of this is gonna be a student, so someone in college. And if you're in college, chances are you're gonna need a laptop. You're gonna need something that you can take with you to class, to the library, to go study with friends, something portable. And in that case, it's not very economical to have a laptop and a desktop at home as well. So if you have a laptop already, you know, you can repurpose it, do this upgrade, and now you've got something that you can take to school with you and study and all that stuff. And then when you come home, you can plug in your GPU and you can do some deep learning. So that's why I went with the laptop. I think it's a little bit more, it makes a little more sense having something that's portable, yet you can come home, plug it in and do your deep learning. Maybe in the future I'll try and do a budget deep learning desktop. We'll see. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you guys go ahead and build one yourselves, you know, let me know about it in the comments below. 
um feel free to post in the facebook group share your stories if you've got questions like always leave them below but yeah that's gonna do it for this video and for the series so like i said i had a lot of fun i'd like to hear about your guys's builds if you if you decide to do it and thanks again and i'll see you in the next one peace